from the love child of Joe Rogan and Michael Bay comes a Zack Snyder film with no one at the studio telling him how to write a script. Easy peasy, Japanesey. How to direct a performance. And I'll probably die. Or how to focus the camera. Focus. Focus, please. Focus. Focus now. And focus. Mm, focus. 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 Army of the Dead. Zombies have taken over Las Vegas thanks to Roadhead Gone Wrong. Oh my lord! And now the whole city looks like a spirit Halloween f the paintball field, with the government from Idiocracy all set to drop a nuke. Dropping the nuke on the 4th would be, quote, really cool and actually kind of patriotic if you think about it. There's just a few days left for a billionaire to hire some mercs to rob his own casino. But don't worry, that dumb plan is just cover for the military's even dumber plan. Power to control your own zombie army. Which is his cover for one woman's even dumber plan to avoid raising some kids. In case anything happens to me in the next few days, just make sure the kids make it out to Barstow, okay? I'm no. coming with you. Which is just cover for one company's even dumber plan to launch an entire shared universe off one average zombie movie. Hey, remember when we had way too much zombie stuff? Like five years ago? Cool, 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 cool. If you want to pull off a great heist, you're gonna need the perfect crew. Gear up with one damaged badass. 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 One damaged badass a couple of fun-loving badasses, and the world's most obvious traitor. I don't trust you. I don't trust that guy. I don't trust any of these people, but especially you. But no crew is truly complete without a show-stealing comic relief. And no one knocks those roles out of the park like Chris Tig Nataro. Because when you get a pro like Tig Nataro, you just sit back and let Tig Nataro do what Tig Nataro does best. Appeal to a younger audience. Experience a film about broke veterans stealing money during a zombie apocalypse that's somehow not a commentary on anything. We're not in America anymore, haven't you heard? Which technically makes it an even freer country, right? Whatever. Where the only theme is the zero f**ks the team gives about each other. Don't go! No, we're a team! I brought a guy in once, lost sight of them, had to leave him. What are we doing? Just go! Let's go! Au revoir! <laughs> Come on, leave her! She's dead! Don't screw me! Just go! So that's a pretty common theme for you? Leaving people behind? But there's no time for social satire when there's so many awesome ideas to introduce and never follow up on. Like robot zombies. What's their deal? Who knows? Rain zombies. You should see what happens when it rains. For a few hours, they'll all come back to life. We should see that, but we don't. Zombie sex, how's that possible? TBD, and the awesome zombie killing saw that keeps getting teased. You ready to play? Don't ever touch my saw again, okay? Oh man, here it comes. It's zombie saw in time. Wait, what? They only use it to make a door? It's not her saving the good stuff for the prequel, the sequel, the anime prequel, or the Snyder Cut. So settle in for some classic Snyder that may not be his best zombie flick, but it's got a great opening credit sequence. Then a bunch of overlong nonsense that's not as fun as it should be, especially when you put a better idea for a movie in the movie. There's another team of grave robbers. It could be us in another timeline. And we're caught in some infinite loop of fighting and dying. I would much rather watch that story. Any idea what the hell we're hauling? Amelia Earhart, but alive. Or that one. Open a new food truck. Just thinking artisan grilled cheese sandwiches. Or that one. Starring Dave Batista looking like he's holding in a sneeze. <laughs> Clockwise Orange, Chris Deleted, Psalms of Anarchy, Tommy Wiseau, You Saw Nothing, I guess Flula had a scheduling conflict, Zom Influencer, Eight Simple Rules for Eviscerating My Teenage Daughter, Get Over Here, and Rob My Casino for Me, Tricky Martin, Lily Vegas Multipass, and I'm Dead. World War <laughs> You know, you'd think a guy on his way to steal $200 million in cash would have a better plan for carrying it all up to the roof. I mean, I know he's shaped like an upside-down triangle and all, but that's 4,400 pounds, dude. 
I need you to get all the way off my back about how the movies are being written. Finger licking good. He's about to get his soul sucked. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. See you at the movies.